everybody, your girl Brittany here. Welcome back to my channel. I want to do a project share for a swap that I'm hosting over on the Facebook page, Coffee Cake, Coffee Cake and Crafting. Um, this swap is called Off the Page Swap. It was inspired by Tamika, who has scrapped the world here on YouTube. And like she does a lot of things of trying to get you to think outside the box and use your electronic cutting machines a lot more and creating dimensional projects. I myself love making dimensional projects, whether it's on the machine or not. And I wanted to get other people to actually take the machines out the box because you don't have no, you have no idea how many people um, have said that they still have this stuff sitting in the box and it's been like years. So, um, so for the project, they had to create a dimensional project project it did not have to have any functionality with it but if it did that's a plus and they also had to create four sets of four um embellishments so for mine i used the forever young by minte papers collection i got it from frank garcia studio absolutely love this paper it's so stinking pretty and um my partner is tamika herself and you have no idea how the anxiety had overflown and built up and <laughs> stressed me out so um i'm gonna go ahead and first show you the card that i created this card is inspired by sam who is mixed up crafts and it is a book easel card look how stinking cute that is oh my god it's so cute so like here is the back and then it has my stamp at the bottom here's what the bottom part is I just did one of the chipboard pieces and stitched all the way around it, added some pearls at the bottom and some ruffle trim, and then it just sits up like this, and it has like the little pages curls so you can see the different pages. So I did a glitter gold, a solid gold foil, and then the paper from the collection. And it says let's have fun and then I did layering it didn't have like actual um like ephemera pieces that came with it so there was a lot of fussy cutting and I hate fussy cutting <laughs> but um I did a lot of layering and then I used the eyelash trim from Dollar Tree I did a little flower cluster here and then this kind of gives you an example of what I created as far as in the dimensional project so I have that and then I was going to put it within my project, but I decided to go ahead and just make a loaded envelope of the embellishments that I created. So here is the envelope. <laughs> okay. So um, here I have one of my tassels. I shared this on Instagram, just using um, all the colors that I had from that eyelash trim. Then it has a little pink bow and then um, some charms on there as well. Here is the back. This paper is technically like a happy birthday, birthday party type paper. And the, the paper I used to create the envelope, it had happy birthday here. So I wanted to put something across it so it didn't like stand out like that. And then here on the front, again, I did more layering with the cut apart pieces, some eyelash trim. Then I did some crepe paper rosettes and I did the chunky one here. Here is a chipboard piece from the collection. It says be happy and I did some glossy accents on top of that as well as this balloon and then pieces of the carousel. And then I did a little flower cursor here with some ruffle trim and some beaded trim going across the center of that with a cute little bow applique there and so let me go ahead and show you what is inside so the first embellishment that I had I have everything open for video purposes I am gonna put some fun stuff on the inside of them I first of all created these really fun hidden paperclip bag toppers so in that way you can go ahead and remove it and put it on any other project that you want to and not have to worry about so say like oh you want to use the bag topper because sometimes you have to rip it off or you have the staples in there and people like this is a five by seven bag and yeah I cut my paper wrong sorry <laughs> and um so it gives the people the ability to go ahead and just take it off and put it on a different bag so um I just I had a strip of paper here and then put the paper clips on there and adhered it to the back of the trim. And then again, this is just everything from the collection. Then I added some little pom-pom trim here and I want to be forever young. 
and I did some little balloon embellishments. I saw Bits and Pieces do this on Instagram, and I was like, oh, I gotta do that. And this, I thought this paper collection was perfect for that. I'm gonna have to add um, new little pop dots. But they're so stinking cute, look at it! And um, I got that bundle trim from Michaels, and so I just used some of that as well, some trim that was in my stash, and I added a little bow on there, and then I layered up the balloons, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but I took my white gel pen and then add like the little lines and stuff to kind of, so you can tell that they're balloons. And so that is embellishment number one. Embellishment number two is I did some layered rosettes. Again, another paper clip bag topper and then for this here i used the um eyelash trim again and then again just pieces from the collection the big day forever young the party is here celebrate party friends and then just some things from my stash the next set of embellishments i made were my chunky rosettes this is about like i think six layers and I had added glitter and chunky glitter on the sides of them so this is has the fine pink glitter on the side and these have the ch little bit chunkier gold glitter and then just added a heart in the center and I just wanted to keep them that way so that way she can use them on any project or embellish it any way that she liked and then lastly I created some bows like what's embellishments without bows and so I have these two here. This is a file that I use on my Silhouette Cameo. And I will have that link down below in the description box if I remember. <laughs> and um, with these, these are so cute. And I just added a foam flower in the center of those. And then this also came from the same file. It gave you two different um, little uh, feet, whatever, <laughs> um, banners to add to it. So I did two of each. And then I also, I did it on this one as well, and I did, um, I dipped the tails in the chunky gold glitter as well, so I thought that was really, really cute, and then you can see on there, this was a biatch to get into the bag, so I don't want to take it out. So those are my embellishments that I created, and there will be additional goodies and all that fun stuff, but you'll just have to watch her video after she receives it and then I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out the way and I'll show you my actual project so that I created. here is my project that I created <laughs> oh, I just love how it turned out so much I know you can't really see from the angle I have the camera so I'm going to make sure that I insert some photos for you so you have a better idea of what's going on but I created a carousel and this is a file that is also on the silhouette design store it is so ah, I just oh my goodness I love it so much I really wish I either had like Maggie Holmes carousel collection or the Dulce collection that would have been great with this as well but um the for when I saw the forever young I was like perfect and so um on the top here I'm gonna go ahead and show you so I'm gonna try to move all this it's not adhered to the bottom platform so I'm gonna try to move it over here all right so the top piece the actual carousel piece here is how it looks and I just did some beta trim going all the way from the top to the bottom and going every other two and then I added some little pom-pom trim at the bottom as well and some pearl um, stickers here and then I did my chunky rosette here and I glittered the edges as well as a regular paper rosette and I glittered those edges as well with some ruffle trim and pink trim. Then I just layered some of the cut aparts on top of it and said surprise. And then um, it didn't have a way to actually remove or to like sit on here very properly. So I what I did was I took a paper clip and I un unfolded it and so you can see here in the center I also added some beading there and some beading at the top so it would stay in place so then that way she can easily take it off and then like there's like a little hole at the top and she can just slide it right back in so then that way she doesn't have to worry about it tipping over or anything like that and then I was having issues with it sitting um, in the center because it would 
fold my um, straws down like it would have been forward and it was kept on tipping and everything so I added this little cup here to give it some stability to be able to sit up and then so that's what that looks like and then it was weird just having a paper clip there so I created a banner on the paper clip and just using some scrap papers and I did some bead wrapping around the chipboard piece and it says party on and I have a little dangle here with the flower and tassel and then I added the beading in, in between the pieces here of the stem part and then I also added an embellishment um, I just felt like it needed something so I did a rosette and then some ruffle banner paper banner some eyelash trim and then again one of the pieces cut apart and I did some glossy accents added the little pom-pom trim scrap that I had left and then it says have fun babe and then if we go ahead and move all that over so here is what the remaining parts look like so on the sides all across I added the ruffle trim and I, I did every other color so one has like the mint and then the other one has the white and then also with the horses I teetered it because you know when you go to a carousel they're not all just the same level so I have them um, going high and low high and low and I use paper straws as my stick piece. And then I just added these little, I use one of my circle punches and put it at top. So be able to, uh, the hood, I guess the top can sit, um, better on top. And then I added some beading across the top, <coughs> excuse me, across the, <coughs> across the top of it here. So I can keep the straw in place. And then I also created a little tab so it can easily open. I am going to add some fun stuff in here. But um, you'll just have to watch her video and see what I add. And then I did little flower clusters on there. Oops, you probably can't really see. So um, I did the little tab here. And then I added the little flower clusters right here. Because I just didn't want it to be too plain. And then I used some shimmer mist as well on all the boxes. I used the tattered uh, glimmer mist. And I had... Um, Put that all the way across and everything and then I popped up the front of the horse on dimension. Some of the glitter mist hit the foil and doesn't mix well with foil so that's what that little streak is. I'm trying to get it to clean off. But um, I just popped it up on dimension from the back piece and then again I adhered it to the straw. And then they don't stick to the platform. I was thinking about maybe doing pop dots maybe so it'll be a little bit easier. I'm not sure. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to put this in the box. I finally found a box that it will fit in. But now just figuring out how to put it in so it will hopefully go and arrive in one piece is the fun part. So, But oh my gosh, I am so, so, so in love with it. I hope she will be too. Again, guys, make sure you check out her video and see everything else that is revealed, the additional things that I added. I hope you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you. So